What's up everyone? Uh, Rob Joswiak here back in DC. Uh, posted a video a few weeks ago of me uh, TDY to Qatar and Tajikistan. Hope you enjoyed that one. Got a bunch of video ideas and I'm trying to slowly put them together. Uh, just, you know, crazy schedule. Got to try to find time for, you know, family, friends, work, trying to get workouts in, whatever. Got, uh, got the summer hair going because it's hot here in DC. I don't know if you can see Congress is like, I think like somewhere here and then you'll notice that's the Washington Monument. So uh, we're in the, in, the, in the throes of finishing this roof deck. Hopefully by the time uh, I produce this video and post it, my uh, roof deck will be complete. But I'm sneaking up here just to record this. This is a video on my reaction. I'll use this space to put up pictures and stuff to The Diplomat, the next Netflix series, The Diplomat. It's um, eight episodes. I think it came out in April of this year and it's already been renewed stars uh carrie russell she's also the executive producer um and so without going into too many details i'm going to say i like it i'm going to say you should watch it um there are reactions from ambassadors that did articles in the hill and i think wall street journal or you know don't quote me on exactly what i'll post the links down below the first thing you should do though is the u.s embassy in london actually did a reaction of talking about the buildings that they show in the show and that a lot, the embassy is accurate but a lot of the other ones where she lives as ambassador and whatnot um you know they are real buildings but our ambassador doesn't live there so check that out i'll put that link to a little twitter video i think they did as i will for the articles that are actually ambassadors talking about the show i'm just replying you know more from like the working level um it's sensationalized as i think a couple of the articles point out if they really showed what dip, us as diplomats do all the time, it, it would kind of be boring. Um, unfortunately, it's, you know, it's just kind of the way it is. Uh, but, you know, I think it gives a good uh, sense of like, it's high speed, you know, like you might only have a minute with an ambassador in a day and you've got to convey something and, and get right to the point. And then they're walking into a meeting or they're walking out of a meeting. Um, I think one of the articles touched about on how, or I read online, that an ambassador or a diplomat wouldn't get involved with domestic politics, you know, the way the plot is uh, with the president, vice president, and secretary of state uh, in this first season that we see. I totally agree with that. You know, I think that's just, it, it's juicy. It makes the show, you know, like, oh, they're dealing with the West Wing and everything. Not to say that ambassadors and diplomats don't, but not in the way that the, the show kind of portrays. Um, you know, she's a career ambassador, which her husband points out, I think, in episode two, which means she came in and moved up the ranks. They both did, like everybody else. Uh, and he comments on, like, the art that's in the house and how expensive it was. You know, a lot of your uh, political ambassadors, a lot of them are millionaires flat out. And they can come in and host parties and, you know, have elaborate uh, paint collections, art collections that are hung in embassy or, you know, uh, chief of mission residence. That's another term you can use, CMR, Chief of Mission Residence. So if you work in an embassy and they said, okay, we got an event tonight at the CMR, that means the ambassador's house. We say CMR, Chief of Mission Residence. So, uh, yeah, you know, there's some interagency uh, operation there as well. There, you know, it's interesting to see that uh, play out in the show. Um, it also touches on relationships, you know, she's uh, married to a, a former ambassador who's, you know, ambitious and has his career and that takes a toll on their marriage. As you see, I don't want to give any spoilers, but yeah, I mean, the foreign service relationships can be tricky, uh, especially when, you know, both people are in the foreign service or working at an embassy overseas. And even if both people aren't working at the embassy overseas or employed by the U.S. government, it's hard. It's not easy. And the show does convey that, again, sensationalized, but that's the point. That's what Hollywood does. So, uh, yeah, I'll, uh, you know, I put some, I'll put some pictures up during the video and um, of the different characters and everything. But uh, I guess the only, I don't want to say negative is not negative, but you wouldn't walk into an ambassador's office the way they're always walking in and out of hers. I mean, maybe for the DCM, Deputy Chief of Mission, DCM, but, uh, but not anybody pretty much below that. So... Um, that's something to think about, but yeah, it's a cool show. It looks like it's going to get a second, uh, se uh, season. So we'll have more to look forward to. And, uh, yeah, this is one diplomat's reaction to the Netflix series starring Carrie Russell, uh, called the diplomat. The last thing is if you haven't watched her show called the Americans about deep, deep Russian spies that, that basically Ameri that are Americans, check it out. I'll put a link to that show down below as well. That was probably like 10 years ago. 
that's arguably a better show than this one. Terry Russell, if you happen to see that, sorry. I liked you in Americans more than I like you in this, but I'm still gonna watch, uh, I'm watching both, obviously. And if you're studying for the Foreign Service, keep at it. You can be an ambassador someday, like 20 or 30 years from now. Out.